Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2019 Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport 2LT Coupe, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. With the power of the legendary LT1 V8 engine and many of the aerodynamic components found on the Z06, the 2019 Corvette Grand Sport provides the perfect combination of power and handling to help make you feel closer to the road than you ever have before. The 2019 Chevy Grand Sport Coupe is a mind-body melding of the base model Stingray and the rip-roaring Z06, and it is my preferred model. The 2019 Corvette Grand Sport is almost 4 inches wider than the standard Corvette, employs more aggressive gearing in the manual transmission for quicker acceleration, and includes a dry sump lubrication system for improved engine reliability under track duress. Drivers in search of creature comforts such as 20-way adjustable seats and all-leather dashboards can certainly find them in this class. The Corvette's fittings are a little more modest than its competitors, but that's a perfectly acceptable compromise many will be willing to make for the bargain they're getting on the drivetrain. The 2019 Grand Sport largely mirrors the Stingray Z51 in terms of feature content, but it adds a slew of performance features taken from the Z06, including an upgraded cooling system, wider fenders and tires, adaptive dampers using Chevy's magnetic ride control system, upgraded suspension components, and bigger brakes. Also for the Grand Sport for 2019, Chevy offers a Z07 performance package. It adds carbon ceramic brakes, an even more aggressively tuned suspension, bigger and stickier tires, and extra aerodynamic body pieces. The 2019 Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport is a two-seat sports car that is available in both coupe and convertible body types and is available in three trim levels, 1LT, 2LT, and 3LT. Honestly, I like the 2LT because, well, if you watch this channel, you know I like heads-up display. If you don't watch this channel, well, down here in the corner is this little subscribe button. I would suggest that you click it. So I like the 2LT because it gets the heated and ventilated seats. It's got a better Bose sound system, and yeah, it's got that heads-up display. So I think it's a little bit better than the 1LT, and it's not too much more money. The 3LT, yeah, it's just a little bit more, but... Uh, you know, maybe I might want to a la carte a few options on the 2LT, but I think the 2LT is really the sweet spot. And probably realistically, you probably really can't go wrong with any of them, honestly, right? We're just splitting hairs here, aren't we? But yeah, I like the 2LT. So we can see that the prices for the 2019 Corvette Grand Sport are, you know, reasonable considering what cars it competes against and the amount of performance that the car puts down. The Grand Sport starts, the 1LT starts at $65,900. The 2LT, which is the one we're going to build in price today, starts at $70,355. And then the top tier Grand Sport 3LT starts at $75,645. Okay, we showed this, um, this little section here in the intro just a moment ago. But let's actually check out the colors for the 2019 Corvette Grand Sport. This color here is torch red. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, I was just at Cars and Coffee uh, on Saturday, this past Saturday, and I did a really great video on Cars and Coffee. There was a really great red Corvette there, a brand new one. It might have been a Z06. I'm sorry, not a Z06. It might have been a Grand Sport. You know what? I'm going to put a link up to that Cars and Coffee video. Awesome cars in that video. I'm going to put a link up right now. This color here is Long Beach Red Tent Coat. Uh, then we have the ceramic matrix gray metallic. I think this is a very attractive color. I did, not too long ago, a build and price of the 2019 Chevrolet Corvette ZR1. I'll put a link up to that right now. And I think I did that car in this ceramic matrix gray metallic. I'm almost positive. Then we have this Sebring orange tent coat. We have the Arctic White, which is uh, very nice. I like the light colors. The Blade Silver is actually pretty nice. I'm not really a blue car person, but uh, the Elkhart Lake Blue Metallic is pretty nice. That's also a nice racetrack up in Wisconsin. Uh, I've been there. Shadow Gray Metallic. Uh, there's Black. 
and then there's this Corvette Racing Yellow tent coat. Here's some interesting quick specs, some notable features for our 2019 Corvette Grand Sport Coupe, right? It comes in coupe and convertible. Uh, it gets the aluminum 6.2 liter V8 engine. You can get either the seven speed manual or the eight speed paddle shift automatic transmission. You know, I think I might go for the seven speed manual today. I've been thinking about manual gearbox cars. And so, yeah, I think we're going to go with manual gearbox and it gets more aggressive gearing, like I was saying in the intro. Zero to 60 in a very quick 3.6 seconds. That's very legit for a car that is under $80,000. You understand? And this car was also a 2019 car and driver, uh, part of the 10 best car and driver for 2019. Oh, let's check out the gallery. There's going to be some exterior photos and some interior photos. So uh, looks like there's 23 photos in all. So let's quickly run through these photos. And these are going to be some beautiful photos. Here's the car. Here's a shot of the Grand Sport down at the racetrack, probably at Elkhart Lake uh, Racetrack in Wisconsin. Uh, it's probably out at the track there, too, because it's, yeah, looks very, very nice. Beautiful car. I love the Grand Sport. I love the Grand Sport from the C4, the C5, all of them. The C6, the Grand Sport is a tough-looking package. It's very aggressive, and that's what I like about it. You, you have sort of the regular engine, but you got all the sport of the top fastest Corvette, right? All the suspension bits. It's almost like getting a Porsche Panamera or getting a GTS version of a Porsche because it usually gets all the racy bits. Uh, very nice Corvette. The lights look very nice. Let's go back and check out these lights. The LED daytime running lights, very nice. Let's take a note of that. Uh, yep, looks good. Love that blade uh, spoiler. Just really aggressive looking, beautiful car, beautiful, beautiful car. Here we go. Here's a nice shot of the interior. Here's one with the seven speed manual gearbox. We're going to be rolling that way today. Yeah, and it's true. Maybe the interior doesn't as look as nice and as upscale as some of its competitors, but who cares? I mean, it looks good. It looks good in here. How good does it need to look? I mean, yeah, Audis and stuff like that. It's pretty fab fabulous, but there's nothing wrong with this Corvette interior, you know? Again, you're splitting hairs and stuff like this at, at this at this stage of the game. Here's a beautiful heads up sh uh, shot of the heads up display. Do I think that this is the best heads up display in the business? Nope. I think BMW offers that, but again, it doesn't matter. This is a nice heads up display, and it's going to get the job done. Here they're showing the Apple CarPlay. Uh, I think this is a push button start. Here's a push button start there. Beautiful car, beautiful seats. Love the design, and yeah, there we go. Let's uh, let's move on. So let's talk about the design. We kind of already looked at this image here at the beginning. I showed it uh, during the intro, and it's really the intro to the design. They talk about how, you know, this car has the signature Corvette DNA and all of that, and then they kind of list right down here some of the features of the Grand Sport that make the Grand Sport the Grand Sport. So let's find out what that is. So for the Grand Sport, if you have a convertible version of this Grand Sport, uh, the top is fully electronic and can be lowered remotely at speeds up to 30 miles an hour. As we already learned, because I've mentioned it, there's wider fenders to accommodate wider wheels and tires. Uh, there's the Z06 style grille and integrated Grand Sport front badged front fender vents. All right. Uh, and then there's the Z06 style rear spoiler. And then there's the available carbon fiber ground effects package, with, which this one certainly has on it. We can see the, the carbon fiber ground effects package here in the front and down here along the sides. We can see that as well. And they've got three more images. So you saw one of the other images where they showed the brake with the carbon ceramic brake or the tire with the carbon ceramic brake. And we, I guess we've seen all these images really because we just went through the gallery. But here's a nice shot of that big, huge carbon ceramic brake. And yeah. Okay, so here's something else. It says it's okay to be a show off the Grand Sport Heritage Package allows for incredible levels of personalization. Hash mark fender graphics are available in six colors, while the interior features brushed aluminum with details. Add in an available center stripe that comes in six colors, and you can personalize your Grand Sport. So here, they're talking about how we can personalize the Grand Sport with the Heritage Package. So this is, man, that's pretty cool. Uh, wow, look at that. Wow. That could get creative. You could get really creative with that then. So yeah, this is the Grand Sport Heritage Package. Pretty interesting. 
Here, they're talking about that carbon fiber adorned cockpit. We kind of showed this uh, a little earlier. And so what are they talking about? They're talking about how this is a driver-oriented cockpit. Uh, they use a flowing design, intuitive instruments, premium materials. Uh, there's available heated and ventilated seats, which we know that the 2LT version of the Grand Sport gets as standard. There's dual zone climate control. And yeah, they also say it's a refined driving experience. And yeah, I believe that. And then, of course, they list over here some of the standard features of what makes a Grand Sport a Grand Sport. So standard GT bucket seats, you get that. While there are available competition sport seats that pro, uh, feature pronounced side bolsters. I think we saw some of those in the images. Uh, there's available Napa leather seating, but you got to get a 3LT to get into that Napa leather seating. There's lightweight aluminum and carbon fiber trim. And there's a driver-oriented flat bottom steering wheel available in leather or suede microfiber, which they're showing here. And yeah, it's a flat bottom. There's a few more images right here, so let's run through them really fast. Here they're showing that six-speed gearbox. Here's those racing competition seats. Uh, here's just another shot of it right here. This is just a shot of an Alcantara suede steering wheel. This one, the other one we saw had also had carbon fiber on it as well. Uh, here's a nice shot of one with all red stitching in here. And yeah, there it is. Okay, let's move on. This is why you got to love stuff like Corvette. You got to love them. Check this out. Four winning formulas. When they aren't conquering the world's greatest racetracks as members of Corvette Racing, Tommy Milner, Jan Magnussen, Oliver Gavin, and Antonio Garcia share a creative streak. Okay, so these guys must be the factory drivers, and they each what? They each get their own edition of the Corvette. That's pretty cool. So here's the Tommy Milner edition of the Corvette. It comes in Elkhart Lake Blue. He must be a terror on that track. He must be very good at that track. Uh, Grand Sport satin black painted aluminum wheels with red stripe paired with summer only tires. Uh, red painted brake calibers. Blade silver full length dual racing stripes. Torch red fender hash marks. Uh, that's part of the heritage package. The jet black interior. Oh, it's got a Tommy Milner plaque and a Corvette Racing Jake logo center caps. And then red seat belts. So that's the Tommy Milner edition. The Yan Magnuson edition looks pretty good. Arctic white. Um, it's got it's got oh, two has the red painted uh, fender calipers, uh, uh, brake calipers, red painted brake calipers, not fender calipers. We've got uh, the jet black interior, right? And you can get this in the three LT. So you can get it in different. Uh, so I guess you can get these packages whether you get a one LT, two LT, or a three LT. Right? Then there's the Oliver Gavin. I guess I won't read all these. If you want to make sure you want to read all these, then simply pause the video really fast. That makes it a little easier, right? Because we can kind of see it's more or less the same. They're just appearance packages. They're not getting more performance. It's just an appearance package. Then you have this Antonio Garcia edition, right? Everybody gets a plaque on the car with their name on there. Everybody gets red painted calipers. You know what I'm saying? It's They all basically get the same stuff with just the different color combinations with the Heritage Editions, right? So they're running different color combos, and they all look good. I think the Yan Magnuson Edition, actually from a just a visual perspective, to me is the most appealing. So let's talk about performance for our 2019 Corvette Grand Sport. I mean, you can't talk about a Corvette and what, not talk about performance. So they say the Grand Sport puts impressive power in your hands. You can get your choice of either a seven-speed manual with active rev matching, which we're going to put in our building price today. We're going to put that on our 2LT. Or you can get the 8-speed automatic that has a paddle shift, and it's attached to that LT1 V8 engine, and it's got a dry sump oil system, lubrication oil system. And here are the specs on that LT1 engine. It's a 6.2-liter V8. It makes 460 horsepower, a very respectable 460 horsepower, and it does 0 to 60 in 3.6 seconds. And, you know, here's the thing. Here's the thing. There are, there's a boogaggle, yes, a boogaggle of parts available in the aftermarket to make this car all kinds of quick. And you know what? You don't even have to throw that much money into this engine to probably make it put down 500, 5 and a quarter horsepower. And then it just gets ridiculous. So, you know what? At the end of the day... No matter what, what kind of other sports cars are out there, you can make a Corvette as fast as 
anything on the road. Okay, and uh, speaking of road, it says here, it says, become one with the road. All right, so they're going to tell us some features here of our Grand Sport. So what is this all about? This is obviously about the brakes, stopping, and grip. Large, standard Brembo rotors. They're 14.6 inches up front, and they're 14.4 inches in diameter in the back. They're two-piece steel rotors. Uh, yeah, and they're available. Oh, they're also available in as big as 15.5 in the front and 15.3 inches in diameter in the back if you get the Brimble Carbon Ceramic Rotors, right? There's also lightweight 19-inch front and 20-inch rear wheels available in five finishes, and they come wrapped in Michelin Pilot Super Sport ZP. Up front, you're running 285 3019s, and out back, yeah, it's this is a... Now, here's the thing, yeah, that's a whopping wheel. A 325 25 20. That's a big old wheel. That's wide, isn't it? You would think. There's an SUV on the road that runs a wheel, wheel that, that wide. You know what vehicle that is? It's the BMW X6M. If you get the aftermarket, the upgrade BMW and their parts and their um, aftermarket, you can get these upgraded wheels and they run three and a quarter. Yeah, three and a quarter on an SUV. Well, let's move on. <laughs> Magnetic ride control. Right. It's an available uh, option. It's not standard. Uh, it's a real-time damping system that reads the road every millisecond and can adjust in under 15 milliseconds. An innovative suspension fluid contains metal particles that align and become rigid in an instant, giving you control to push harder while staying planted. So it's a very uh, sophisticated suspension system, and you're going to have to pay extra money for that. Then here, there's that Z06 performance package. I mentioned it in the beginning. Uh, yeah, it features a uh, unique suspension. You get the uh, Brembo carbon ceramic brakes. You got the P Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 ZP summer tires. And yeah, super sticky tires. Check this out. They're showing different versions of the Grand Sport. And like I was saying, here's the C4 Corvette with a Grand Sport. This is the first time I ever noticed a Grand Sport. This is probably like a 1996, this car right here. Then you've got this... Uh, I don't know if this is a C5 or a C6. This is a C6 Corvette uh, Grand Sport. And you've got this, uh, the latest generation of Grand Sport. Very, very cool. 460 horsepower, advanced aerodynamics this brand new one has, and an available 1.2G of cornering grip. That's probably with the Z06 package. Oh, check it out. Now we can actually learn about the 2010. Okay, so this one was a 2010. Oh, I was right. That was a 1996 Grand Sport. I actually was not looking at the date. Um, so 2010 Grand Sport, this one had 430 horsepower. So the brand new one only has a little bit more horsepower. Had LS3 V8, uh, did 0 to 60 and 3.9. So 0 to 60 in four seconds, they're splitting hairs over here. Uh, had 1G, a cornering grip. And this is a car that you can pick up now in the aftermarket for probably well under $40,000. I mean, <laughs> that's a lot of performance. That's a lot of cheap performance at the end of the day. I love these C4 Corvettes. This is the Grand Sport. It looks like they what? They only made a thousand of these. They don't tell us how much horsepower. I think they made about 330 horsepower, somewhere thereabouts. Had the LT4 engine. Uh, in addition to the ZR1 chassis. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, that makes it really exciting. The ZR1 chassis. I wouldn't mind having one of these, to be honest with you. I think these are really tasty. Very, very tasty. And the only time I've ever driven one of these is in Gran Turismo. <laughs> At any rate, here's the 1963 Corvette uh, Grand Sport. It had a 6.2 liter uh, small block V8. Uh, they only made five prototypes. And yeah, all five original of these models exist to this day, as a matter of fact. Uh, the 63 Grand Cor or the Corvette Grand uh, Sport, which I guess started it all. Looks like the 2019 Corvette Grand Sport has a driver mode selector. So with the turn of a dial, Everything changes. Five distinct selectable driver modes electronically calibrate up to 12 performance variables uh, to customize your Grand Sport. Modes include weather, eco, tour, sport, and track. This is pretty hot, and it's standard, buddy. Standard. Looks like leather on this dashboard right here, too. Also probably not standard. At any rate, Standard 8-inch diagonal LCD display features three customizable themes for varying levels of information, including G-force, tire temperature, and more. Pretty cool. Here, they're going to talk about what? Heads-up display. 
This is available feature. We're going to have it as standard on our 2LT. Then there's the performance data recorder. The last time I remember talking about this was on the Cadillac CTSV, which actually, at the end of the day, has the most powerful Corvette engine in it. It's really a Corvette in a suit, if you really think about it. And of course, I did a build in price on the 2019 Cadillac CTSV that really is a Corvette. So if you're interested in that, I'll go ahead and put a link up to that right now. So yeah, this is the performance data recorder. If you're going to be taking your vet out to the track, then you're going to need this. Uh, you can put your SD memory card in this thing and it'll record your whole track session. And then you can look at the, uh, you know, you can look at this whole thing and see how you can improve. You can analyze the data and see if you can improve your technique and all that there. Well, you can't talk about a new car, whether it's a sports car or not, without knowing about the technology. Got to know about the tech. Uh, the infotainment system in the 2019 Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport is pretty nice. It's got an available built-in 4G LTE uh, hotspot. It's the Chevrolet infotainment system. It's a touchscreen display. It's got premium Bose audio, which you know starts as low as nine speakers, I think, in the base model and on up. You know, uh, you get the Sirius XM satellite radio. They give you a three-month uh, trial if you get it new. Uh, there's a drop-down center screen, which reveals storage. So there's a hidden cubby back there. Uh, there's a USB port. There's an audio jack, right, like an aux jack. And then there's Bluetooth uh, wireless technology for audio streaming as well. And you can see down here, there's Apple CarPlay. And there's also Android Auto. Moving on, there's also this My Chevrolet mobile app. And what can you do with this? This is an app that, well, all manufacturers these days have an app that allows you to remotely start the car, uh, lock and unlock your door, check diagnostics, sometimes even make an appointment for service. Uh, this one says set parking reminders, send destinations to your available navigation system. You get the point, okay? You get the point. The My Chevrolet mobile app. Speaking of legendary race car drivers or, or race or factory drivers, I think Ron Fellows here, they're talking about a driving school here. It says, learn all the capabilities of your new Corvette through the Ron Fellows Performance Driving School at the Spring Mountain Motor Resort and Country Club. This is a two-day program. It's available to 2019 Corvette owners, and it'll cost you a thousand bucks. Managed by le legendary Corvette racer Ron Fellows. Yeah, he's retired, but back in the day, I remember this guy. Uh, he's won all kinds of championships. Yeah, and he was a factory Corvette race guy. Super, super good. Yeah, I guess that's the guy you want to tell you how to drive a Corvette. I want to go to that. Here is the National Corvette Museum. Do you remember a while back when the floor fell in? Like there was an earthquake or something, and the floor fell in in the in the Corvette Museum, and a bunch of priceless Corvettes fell down a hole. Do you remember that? If you don't, you can do a Google search on that. But yeah, here they're talking about the uh, um, Corvette Museum. And then what is this? Here they're talking about official accessories for our Corvette, from aero and brake enhancements to a variety of striping and wheel combinations. So you can customize your new Corvette to your exact specifications by the accessories or through the accessories. Okay, well, obviously we are doing a build-in price on the 2019 Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport Coupe, not the convertible. So based on that, let's look at some of these specs. We know the horsepower is 460, the torque is 465, the curb weight on this vehicle is just under or just over 3,400 pounds, and the 0 to 60 in 3.6 seconds. Corvette's got a length of 177.9 inches and a height of 48.6 inches, real low to the ground. Okay, what's this all about? Spec highlights, protection through performance. Uh, let's find out what they mean by that real fast. Oh, what they mean is standard technologies, active handling, traction control, bi-zene and headlights, uh, four-wheel anti-lock brakes. So they're, they're letting you know that, yeah, this is a sports car, but it's also designed to help keep you safe through all that performance. Uh, and if a collision should happen, the light aluminum space frame provides added stiffness. And then there's the OnStar system that can uh, actually contact uh, emergency response systems uh, if it knows that the car has been in an accident. I think it can actually tell that. Okay, last but not least, and then we'll do our build-in price. Look, there's this complete care thing. So... 
I guess when you buy a new Corvette, every 2019 Chevy Corvette includes what? Two maintenance visits, one that include an oil change and an inspection. You get five years or 60,000 miles or 24-hour roadside assistance. Uh, yeah, they're just telling you about the warranties. Five years, 60,000 on the powertrain. Three years, 36,000 bumper-to-bumper warranty. Five years, 60,000 courtesy transportation. Yeah, you get it. All that there. So that's the Chevy Complete Care. We've actually gone through this whole thing. We've learned all about the 2019 Chevrolet Corvette. The only thing really left to do is actually go do the building price, and we're going to go do that right now. Okay, so, yeah, here we are. They ask us, do you want the coupe or do you want the convertible? We want the coupe, and that's already selected. So now we got to select our trims. Trims is 1LT, 2LT, 3LT. We already know that we're doing the 2LT. Okay, so here we are on the page where we can now select what trim level we're going to do. We know we're doing the 2LT, all right? We're going to do the 2LT with the seven-speed manual transmission with active rev matching. If you wanted to do the eight-speed automatic, it'll cost you, well, roughly roughly $2,000 more, all right? Roughly $2,000 more. But we are going to stick with the manual gearbox, and yeah, let's move on. Next, we need to select our colors. Now, let's see which ones are the premium colors. I'm not interested in any of the premium colors. I know that already. Now, I like, I'm like. i just going to stick with this. I don't want to spend too much time talking about the colors. I like the ceramic matrix gray metallic. Let's just keep it simple. I like that color. That's what we're going to do. Okay, the next thing is all these accent stripes and decals. And As you can see, there's 18 different configurations of that. I didn't want to spend time talking about all the different ways we can go over that. So what I chose was I chose the Hood Stinger Stripe Jake Carbon Flash Metallic Two-Tone. There it is right there. All right. Now, real quick, before we get to the end, if, you're gonna, if you like the way I build and price and spec out this uh, 2019 Corvette Grand Sport in 2LT, you can download the build summary in the description right now. So you don't have to try to remember all of this. Whoops, did I just, un no, I didn't uncheck that. All right, interior color. What do we want for the interior color? We can stick with the jet black. But you know, the adrenaline red sounds kind of fun, and so we're going to do the red. Yeah, there we go. We've got the red with that carbon ceramic. I think that's pretty cool. Um, here they've got the adrenaline red with the microfiber, but I'm not really feeling the microfiber. I just don't know how the microfiber holds up over time how it wears. And so I'm a little concerned about that. So let's move on to packages though. So for packages, we knew there was the, the, the race car drivers, the Antonio Garcia. We're not going to do any of those. The Antonio Garcia. So they're $5,000 packages, basically. The Jan Magnuson, the Oliver Gavin, and the Tommy Milner. Then there's, oh, there's the Z06 performance package, however, right? Now, some of that stuff's interesting to me. Uh, yeah, I think, I think, I think I want the Z07 performance package. I think I do. Let's go ahead and upgrade it. Uh, all right. So, yeah, that's going to cost us eight Gs for that bad boy. But woo, let's take a look at the exterior. Does it give us a better shot of this thing now? Not really, but, uh, yeah, very, very cool. So we got the Z07 performance package. I don't think we're going to do the Grand Sport Heritage package. I think that's all cool, but I don't want to spend any time going over colors and, and stickers and decals and all that. I don't want to mess with that. Grand Sport logo. And besides that, if you've watched enough of my videos, you know, when you do Mustangs and Camaros, you can always choose all the stickers and decals too. I never go with that stuff, so I'm not really a fan. So it's not so much of not wanting to do it for the video as much as I really don't do that stuff anyway. So me putting this little bit of little uh, little bit of decal right here that's that's going all out of my way in the in the big picture uh, here they have the Grand Sport logo package I'm not really that concerned about that uh, yeah we're gonna keep it simple we're still actually under eighty thousand dollars I mean we're gonna end up tipping the scale a little bit here but that's pretty good considering that we also have the z06 pack or the z07 performance package and that was eight grand so uh yeah let's move on okay so now wheel options now Let's 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 talk a little bit on the wheel option thing here. Now, they these wheels they all come in the same sizes. They're just really different finishes. Uh, so this is the chrome aluminum Grand Sport with summer summer only tires. So it looks like everything is summer only tire, summer only tire, uh, summer only tires, and summer only tires. The reality is is I might want to drive this Corvette 
for four. Well, I don't really care. You know what? You, the reality is you're probably not going to drive this car in bad weather. It's really only a three-season car at the end of the day. Let's try these. Um, let's try these aluminum wheels. We probably really can't. Ah, uh, they're a little shiny. Let's try uh, machine face aluminum. How does that look? A little bit more toned down. Eh, I'm not really feeling that. Um, maybe I do want the the polished. I don't necessarily mind the polish. Let's get a better shot of that. I don't mind the polish. We're gonna stick with the polished wheels. That bumps us up a little bit, but you know what? We're just over eighty thousand dollars, but we're still well below the competition, right? In the big picture of things. Uh, what else do they have? They have mechanical options. So we have the Z07 suspension. What else is there? We can get the battery protection package. Here's the performance air intake system. Now, does that improve horsepower? Yeah, it sure does. Up to 17 horsepower. Uh, yeah, we're going to be pushing almost 500 horsepower there. I want that right off the bat. I'm surprised there's not an exhaust system. Uh, I do want the wheel locks. I think that is um, cheap security. Uh, here's a visible carbon weave fiber insert. Nah. Underhood liner with Grand Sport logo. I actually kind of like that. So we can either do that for 290 or there's this one. I think I like the Grand Sport one. I don't think you don't have to choose either, but I like the Grand Sport one. So there's that. And then there's all the there. Here's all the, the stickers, the fender hash marks. And again, we're not going to mess with that. Do you want a transparent roof panel? Nah, I think I like it the way it is. Carbon fiber, dual roof, visible carbon fiber roof, body color, dual roof package. Nah, we're going to keep it the way it is. They're getting way technical with it. Carbon flash badge package. Rear fascia protector. What is that all about? Oh, helps protect the rear portion of your vehicle while loading and unloading cargo. Good deal. But no. <laughs> uh, then there's all these different uh, car covers. And this is all stuff that you can get in the uh, accessories department at the, at the dealer. So I'm not going to really worry about all of this. I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Uh, they also have the Corvette Museum delivery. But I don't want my car to fall through the floor, so I'll just pick mine up at the dealer. So <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, let's move on to interior. Uh, let's upgrade our stereo for sure. Let's upgrade the stereo. Uh, ah, we got to add the performance data recorder. I'm, I don't really care about that stuff, but you know what? Seeing that I did the Z07 package, the car might end up out at the track. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and do that. Uh, I do like those competition sport bucket seats. I'm going to go all in here. Uh, what else? Carbon fiber instrument panel? What does that even look like? Let's click that just to see what it looks like. Uh, I Oh, I think there's carbon fiber down in here. I think we're going to keep that. That's kind of cool. Uh, I want these aluminum door sill plates. We're going to get those. Uh, I guess we'll throw on these premium carpet mats real fast. Do we? What kind of steering wheel do we want? Do we want that uh, suede microfiber steering wheel? Nope. Uh, do we want the special number driver series plaque? Nope, we don't need any of that. We could put this cargo mat in here, though, for our back. We're going to do that for 205. Uh, cargo shade. What's that all about? Ooh, that's kind of interesting. That's kind of interesting. It also conceals. Let's do that as well. I like that accessory a lot. Oh, they even have Corvette luggage. I'm getting the luggage. Now, normally, this is way outside of what I normally do, but I'm getting the Corvette luggage. I don't care. I'm getting the luggage. Let's move on. Okay, so here's the deal. We're going to actually skip over the accessories. Here is why. Let me show you real quick. Now, Chevrolet is General Motors. General Motors, so it doesn't matter whether you're on a Cadillac, because Cadillac is also General Motors. So whether you're on a Cadillac dealer or website, a Buick website, or a Chevrolet website, at the end, they have these accessories. And a lot of these accessories are not specific to any particular vehicle. For instance, all these electronics, earbuds, headphones, Right? That's obviously not specific to a Corvette or any particular model. So I don't spend any time on GM sites going through these accessories. Okay, I just wanted to tell you that if this is the first time that you're watching the channel. That said, let's move on to the summary. And here, as you can see, I am going to save and download the build summary for our 2019 Corvette Grand Sport uh, 2LT with a Z07 package. So yeah, you can download this in the description below if you want to spec your Corvette out like this one. Okay, so life for this vehicle started at about 70355 And by the time we got all done with it, right, we did, uh, 
The paint color cost us $500. The options cost us almost eight grand, which is basically the Z07 package. And we did some other options that basically ran us about $10,000 almost. Well, $9,500 and change. So out the door, the net price anyway, we don't get into that too much, is about $90,000. $89,500, right? A lot of money. However, cars it competes against cost more. And not just a couple bucks more, considerably more. And this car can spank a lot of them. So pretty cool. I love Corvettes. I love, love, love Corvettes. Please look at all those other videos. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I love the Corvette. There's nothing wrong with it. So if you found this building price review helpful of the 2019 Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport, helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Love this car. Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I'm going to tell you to have a nice day, and I'm going to see you on the very next.